floor is Quarrel signed up. Squirrels, the floor is yours for three minutes. Please tell us your name and address, although we are familiar with it. Yes, you are. I've been coming here a long time. <laughs> yep, real long time. Um, Dolores Quarrel, 701 Ricetown Avenue. I come here tonight to, I randomly kind of come periodically to kind of update you on our project from, um, I've kind of been like the coordinator and also um, mm -hmm. I've been working real hard, our whole community have from the community's perspective. Now you may hear something from maybe somebody, the county administrator's report, but I want to tell you um, what's, what's happening right now with us. I, I do, and a lot of us that have a vested interest in Wrightsville, uh, we love our community and failure is not an option for us. Now, anytime um, you have these projects, I've learned a whole lot. The one dealing with this project, we've been dealing with it since June 2017. We was awarded the contract in October 2019, if I'm not correct, got implemented in January of 2020. So it's been a long time. It's been a very long time. So um, we're moving along. On a positive note, Hammond and Mitchell was awarded our infrastructure. They started in May 15, 2022. They are ahead of schedule. They are projected to finish in November. And they're ahead of schedule. They may be finished next month. We're super excited about that. If you're around, ride through. We, we like the progress. They do the infrastructure, the drainage, and just the sewer. So that's come along greatly. Now for the not so good news. We're having problems with our housing and um, a little concerned, a little concerned about the housing piece. Um, a letter was sent on May 9th to Amanda Healy. She's the, the head and director of um, Department of Housing and Community De Development asking for an extension. We were granted an extension to May 2023. Okay, so our concern is that we may not make the deadline. The infrastructure, I think they're going to be fine. But far as the housing piece of it, we need help. We need help. I think y'all should know about it. Y'all may talk, some may talk among the staff. Now, Melissa is our project manager. Hurt and Profit is the one that we hired, the PMT committee hired to implement the grant. And then they subcontracted it out to another gentleman, which was with architectural partners to do the housing piece. Unfortunately, everybody that's qualified may not be suitable as far as contractors. Some of y'all may or may not have more experience and no more dealt with contractors on a personal basis, but um, we have some issues and I think some of it has been, um, we're gonna have to terminate one of the contractors and I think it's been presented to, uh, for, to make sure everything's legal to the attorney's office uh, for, approval. Um, unfortunately, um, we're behind. Um, we have two houses to build, two substantial reconstructions to build, and we still have two uh, rehabs to do, and we're going on. The weather's going to be an issue, and so we're fine. I think we're, it's, a, it's projected that uh, the second round is supposed to be under contract under April, we're September, and it's just getting out to, I think it's due the 9th, and it's not even under contract yet. So if you take five months here, and five months there, we may not make the deadline. Very concerning, very, very concerning. Failure is not an option. We do not want to send, we got, we was awarded $1.4 million to do the infrastructure and the housing. We don't want to have to send any of this money back for no reason. If you know Wrightsville, anybody from Wrightsville, it's real rural and rustic. We probably can use this money and then some more money after that to complete it to make it look, um, um, the housing, it can be modern. It can still, we can still preserve our history. And that's what we want to do, preserve our history and get some, you know, the sewers old. If my granddaddy was living, he would be 100 years old. So some of that's now. So what I'm insisting is, I think y'all need to know, because the contract is between Allegheny County and DHCD on our behalf. So um, 
Some of the problems with the contractor was finances, didn't have the proper finances to buy materials. As some of y'all know, it's funded and they get reimbursed and get paid out um, a certain percentage of their bid. Um, what I've learned was from this project that um, they were not bonded. And I think that's a suggestion that some of these projects, larger or smaller than others, if they're bonded, if they not, they want to run, they want to fly, they want to go, if you have a bond, you can pull the bond. Nobody suffers a lack in the project. That's just a suggestion. We were not, none of the contractors were bonded in our particular project. So my thing is, one, notification to let y'all know. Two, any ideas or thoughts? Failure is not an option. It's not an option. We want to complete this project. There's a lot of money that's extended in and, and y'all part, the job done, to still try to make it work, but we don't want to have to turn any <coughs> money in. Okay? Anybody got any questions for me? Thank you, ma'am. I'm sorry, my watch is a little slow. <laughs> You're all right. Thank you.